get yourself some glass skin. We all love that look, that natural glass skin look, and this is giving just that. Welcome back or welcome to the channel if you're new, it's Sahara. So today we have a very, very exciting video and it's featuring the brand Merit Beauty. I just want to say a huge thank you to Merit Beauty for reaching out to me to um, send me these products to review for you guys. This stuff is gifted. I just want to let you guys know that up front. It's not sponsored. And they sent it in this lovely bag where if you use my link down below, you can get this bag free with your purchase of any of these products that I'm going to be mentioning today and look look at the skin it's giving glass skin we're giving very natural i am in this video doing that clean girl makeup look over again because i did it in a video before i will link it across here and i'll show you guys a picture i feel like i applied way 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 too much product in that video for that natural look that it was supposed to be giving so we are going to kind of be doing that in this video again I'm also going to be showing you guys an outfit as well because in that video I did do like a, you know, hair makeup outfit type of look. My floor plant is just dead, okay? <laughs> I tried to trim a little bit off, but no. Before I do it in a voiceover, I found this St. Ives face mist. Spritz a little zing with a sparkling orange scent. A hydrating facial mist to give you an instant burst of energy that you can spray before or after makeup. So I want to try this spray right quick to see is there anything good about it. Ooh. Oh, that sprays out a lot. Ooh, you see how soaked it is? That sprays out a lot. Yeah, this is definitely something that I don't think I would spray after my makeup because it's very strong. Spritz of the mist with notes of orange, lemon, and lime. I feel like it would make your makeup... <laughs> I'm gonna prime the skin up with the Makeup Forever Hydrating Base. I'm still trying to use this base up and I don't know why it's taking me forever to get through it. It's like whenever I have my stuff that I really, really like, that's when it seems like I go through it a little bit quicker. But when I have things that I'm trying to hurry up and get rid of, it stays forever. So then I'm going to mix together the LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation and also the Black Radiance Tinted Moisturizer. The reason that I'm mixing these two together is just because, <laughs> honestly. But I'm going to use these to kind of spot conceal in a way and also... You know, just really focusing on the parts on my face where I think I need it the most. And instead of using a concealer to do that, I thought I would just use, like I said, these tinted moisturizers and serum instead. And it blended in a lot better than going in with a concealer. Even though both of these shades are dark on my skin, I um, still think that it just blended in a whole lot better than going in with a concealer that would have been um, a couple of shades too light for me anyway. After I blend it in with my finger on certain parts, I am going to go in with a sponge to further press it into the skin and pick up any excess product. For concealer, I'm using the Lip Bar Caffeine Concealer. This is a really good seal concealer <laughs> this is a really good concealer for good light to medium buildable coverage and also to brighten and look more awake i think that that's what the caffeine and these concealers like the mark jacobs one does is just make it look more awake and hydrated and i'm blending it in with that same sponge i think this sponge is from the dollar tree by the way really really soft and blends out really well um, this is the merit box it says minimalist beauty then they sent a card that just says merit minimalist minimalist beauty the antidote to the oversaturated world of beauty and then it came in this bag it's like this not velvet but what is this, this corduroy bag which is so cute i really appreciated them putting it in this is merit in the inside and then they just put the three products in here i love the box packaging it's just like this matte simplistic packaging i will show it up close like i always do whenever i'm showing new makeup i always put it on my um spin table lazy susan they are a 
clean, vegan, and cruelty-free brand. They're definitely more of the makeup brand for the no makeup makeup, clean girl, very natural, very fresh, very everyday, um, your 5 to maybe 15 minute beauty on the go time to go. <laughs> the first product I'm going to be trying out is the Perfecting Complexion Stick and I will insert all of the information. I never have the information up front so I'll definitely just insert it so you guys can have it all up there so you can actually see it. I did get it in the shade Amber. They had um, a good shade range. I would say that for about 20 shades as long as it's even you know five fair, five light, five medium, five dark. I think that that's a pretty decent decent shade range. Now when it comes to natural makeup, I feel like you're not going to typically see a lot of people reaching for a foundation. Maybe concealer to spot conceal or a tinted moisturizer, but you're always going to see me grab for a cream bronzer. A cream bronzer, cream contour, no matter what makeup look I'm doing, I'm always doing cream bronzer or contour. <laughs> this stick on this side, which I love the packaging, is very luxurious looking. Like it has like this gold hardware right here and then you can twist it up from the bottom let's see how much product you receive dang it's still going oh i'm gonna roll that back down i'm scared <laughs> so this says that you receive 0.13 ounces but that still looks like a decent amount of product i'm not going to keep rolling it because i don't want it to break off hopefully i got the right shade <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a good shade. That's very natural of a shade. And I feel like this little like design, like the little ball, how it's made is very good for especially contouring the nose. I feel like lately I've been getting my bronzers way too dark because I've been um, thinking that they may run too light. It's that misconception. <laughs> and it glides on so smooth I'm not having no problems with any tugging I mean you can see how easy that's just like gliding on um oh did I put it on my dress oh dang uh, do I want to blend this out with a brush or a sponge I'm going to blend this out with my favorite blush brush this is the color rain small angled face brush but I feel like it would be good for pressing it in for the bronzer Oh, it blends in very well too. You see how natural that looks? So yeah, very, very creamy right off the bat. And it blends out very effortlessly. No patchiness at all. Very pigmented. Should've got a smaller brush for the nose. Pat on the back for getting the right shade. <laughs> so the next product I have to try is the Flush Balm. So this is a cheap color. And I got mine in the shade Terracotta. I wanted to keep a nice more neutral tone when it came to these products so that's kind of what I was going for you just twist open the top and here is the product I'm tempted to just go like this oh yeah no oh that glides on real oh my gosh that feels so smooth so um I'm just gonna give you an example if you've ever tried the milk makeup blush that like is very similar that dome shape that does not glide on as smooth as this does like this glides on so smooth they made these products feel very very creamy they feel very very creamy especially for a stick product it looks a little bit just maybe a little bit pink I thought it was gonna look a little bit more um, brown let me see how it blends out right quick It's not as pigmented as I was hoping it was going to be. I think it may be maybe just a little bit too close to my skin tone. But yeah, very, very glowy, very pretty. The one thing that I like about it that I notice is it's leaving a nice natural glow without having any shimmer. There's not even a slightest bit of shimmer in there, which is really good because I don't like shimmery blushes at all. See how glowy the skin looks? That's like glass skin. And I don't really have no glass skin products, but this is giving just that. <laughs> I'm going to set the skin right quick. I'm not going to do any highlighter because, again, like, you see how glowy this is? I don't think I need no more highlighter. Um, so I'm going to set it with the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Powder right quick. 
I'm going out today and, I'm, and I am going to be wearing a mask, of course, so that's why I'm making sure I set it extra. It still kind of shows, it peeks through um, whatever powder you set it with. I'm not going to apply any eyeshadow primer or anything, but I'm just going to take my finger and rub it on here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how smooth this is. Can you roll this up? You can't roll it up. So I'm just going to apply a little bit. It's like a blush lighter, like a blush and a highlighter in one. All right, it's giving like glossy eyelids. I really, really like that. So yeah, um, oh, I just rubbed it, the rest, on a paper towel right here. Let me show you guys. You can see that there is a shade to it. It does look like this shade, but I'm thinking that it's just because um, it's too close to my skin tone. So that's fine. I'm just going to apply my mascara. I'm using the Joa Lash Up Rising. I'm not going to set this because I do like that glossy lid look. Can you guys see how glossy that looks and I feel like this can help also give the illusion of like that glass skin look I'm only applying mascara to the top lashes I'm not applying any mascara to the bottom because my um, bottom lashes I just got some mascara up there my bottom lashes are <laughs> way longer than my top ones I don't know if I'm gonna do lashes I may just keep these I may just do mascara because I feel like the um because I just put that cream blush on my eyes it may uh, remove my lashes so i'm not gonna do mess i'm not gonna do lashes i might just do another layer of mascara but i'm just gonna let this dry right quick so the last product i have is the shade slick tinted lip oil in the shade taupe or taupe you say taupe i say taupe or i say taupe you say taupe another luxurious looking bottle especially because of the gold hardware which kind of matches my gold um stuff I have on because I got on a lot of gold today. Just like one of those classic doe foot applicators. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that um, glides on so smooth again. You could definitely feel it feels exactly like a lip oil. Like it literally just feels like a really thin, thin lip product. And that shade is really pretty too. It's like my lip color but better. This would be even better if the doe foot that they have on there was like that plush. Have you guys ever seen um, one of those lip oils that have like that plush applicator? Oh my gosh, if it had that, I could literally just sit here all day go like this. <laughs> Let me zoom you guys in right quick because I want to show you how my skin looks up close. Look at my skin. It just looks very natural, very glowy, and I set it, and you can still see that glow. I love everything. It just glides on like silk. <laughs> I'm telling you guys. I would say the only downside about one of the products I tried, of course, is the blush. It's that it's not pigmented it doesn't pack that punch like even though it's really glowy and it blends out really well it doesn't give you a lot of pigment and I do even though I do love the glow I would like if there was a little bit more color to it if it was this true true terracotta color okay so that brings us to the end of this clean girl makeup look featuring merit beauty i will leave a link down that takes you directly to their website that link is affiliated as well just want to let you guys know that i'm obligated to let you guys know that these links that i use are affiliated which i always let you know in the comments down below but when you purchase off their site right now they are having one of these things that i've seen where um whatever you purchase you can get a free bag with it which is really really good because like I said this is just a really nice bag so you get that I will also leave my personal links down to um Merit Beauty if you want to purchase it off Sephora because I know that there may be some people who are strictly about just buying things directly from a brand a company like Sephora or Ulta so I will give you guys the option of using my direct link that'll take you to their website so you can get this free corduroy bag child and it's a really beautiful color too it's like that olive tone and we all about the olive I love it <laughs> um, for the outfit I have on this dress it's like a button up button down um flowy it's kind of tight though 
flowy dress. I got it like a couple of years ago. See, it goes like this. I got it a couple of years ago from Misguided. I also have these Steve Madden Hills heels because I love Steve Madden. And then I have this bag from Shein and these sunglasses from Shein. So let's go see the outfit. Take your pretty outfit and go. Show yourself right out of my zone. Now before I lose my control. Enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!